my chest right here, you're back rowing, bro. Is up YouTube. Is that good? A little, little bit of a pause before the YouTube, but it was good. Okay. You got your syllables. I'll take it. So as you guys can see, I'm here with Mr. Chris Bumstead. We are in Ottawa right now, about to head to the gym to get a chest workout in. So I wanted to get a last workout in before he gets into, you know, like the intense, like last couple weeks of the Olympia prep, because you just started. And yeah. I just don't want you to like mistake me for like a, like a high calorie that's food. Like your yeah. brain's gonna be all kind of like washed out. So I don't want like a tap. Not that much of a deficit now, but yeah. I start to look at them weird when I get really hungry. So yeah. we're avoiding that. 3,600 calories right now. So not too, too bad, but so he's smiling. He's happy right now. We're going to head to the gym and do a chest workout and we'll see you guys when we get there. So this is Calvin, who films Chris's videos. And fun fact is that Kofi and Calvin are friends, they're actually business partners. And it just so happens that Kofi films for me, Calvin films for Chris. It's just such a small world. It's a content creator inception. Yeah, right? content creator inception. If people are watching us from the window, they're like, what the fuck is going on in my front yeah, lawn? Actually, this is confusing, I don't know which one to look at. <laughs> look at this one, this one, that's the important one. Hello. to the gym we are warming up our shoulders right now because Chris has a bad shoulder he's had a bad shoulder for quite a long time so he's be very careful right now he can't really do lateral raises he's pretty much just pressing for his shoulders so he's taking his time with that and then we're gonna hop into the chest workout okay so the first thing we're doing is a machine incline press right yeah I've been doing this machine because it's very inclined and it hurts my shoulder less okay. so hopefully it hurts your shoulder less too yeah and then I kind of tax the muscle a little bit on this and then we move on to a free weight okay are you ready? Are you ready for the comeback? Yeah. Huh. Are you ready for the comeback? You know we the ones that ready for whatever. We gon' have to show them some man. Let me see them hands up all the way front back. You don't understand that I'm doing what you can with no cap. Huh. This is the return of the one. You ain't see him coming, you just heard drums. They've been ready for the battle. Any person that comes got the weight of the world on them. Yeah, they're too strong. For the working sets, what rep range do you want to like really fail at? Around 12 maybe? 12. Unless I'm purposely doing something heavy, then I'll do six to eight. So you pretty much really like auto-regulate your training, it seems. Okay. Every body part's a little different too. Like chest, I don't go super heavy because of my kind of injury. Yeah. Legs will always do something that is a little heavier. Arms is always high volume. It depends on the body part. Don't try to compete and don't even try to keep up with this guy because that was like that was beyond a, a top set for me right there. I'll do two and twenty-five and then we'll go from there. That's why it's good to train with a workout partner because I was like done at six. He's like, you got 10. And I was like, holy shit, I get to 10. You got 12. I get to 12 halfway. There's this like mental thing where I, when I go to touch it, I'm not even helping it go up harder. I'm yeah. Like, I didn't even touch it yet. Damn. Three, two, one. Bad. A 
the way up. Go down. Look. Come on, make that. Up. One. Up. Yeah, come on, come on. One, last one. Up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yep. Three, four, five, six. Let's go. Seven, eight, nine, twelve, ten, eleven, two more. One, two. Okay, so next step, what we're gonna do is incline dumbbell press. Same thing, we're gonna warm up slowly up to two top sets, eight to twelve rep range, couple force reps in there. So fail around ten reps, help with the last two, two sets. It's not, it's not always a good thing. It's not always a good thing. That felt way too heavy, man. You were moving it easy, it was just a little uncomfortable. Yeah, it it's unfair how fast you lose your strength when you don't train for so long. Especially stability. Oh like my god. Oh my god. Can we help it up? Okay, let me help you get it up. Let me put it on your lap. I'm okay. Yeah. I don't need help getting it up late at night. Can you hear a blue shoe? No. Is this like the sponsor of the video? Huh? <laughs> I mean, I don't have a discount code yet, but if I do, I'll let you know first up, okay? Three. Yeah. Five. Right, nice. Let's go. Six. Seven. You got ten. Eight. Nine. Up. Come on. Ten. Let's go. Up. One. The only downside is this band loses your hands. So why do you use the band so to know? I've been using this band just mainly to put less load on my shoulder. It makes it so you don't have to go as heavy as a weight. And when you're in the stretch position, which is where my shoulder injury hurts the most, it's less load on it because the band's loose. When you get to the top and the band tightens, it's more load, and that's where my shoulder's out in here. So it's just like a little adaptation I'm doing to kind of protect my shoulder a little more. That's tough. At the top, it is so much harder. It gives you a nice squeeze. Yeah, so, holy yeah. shit. I'm sorry, I have to put the weights down like a douchebag. I can't put this down with this. Oh. I mean, if you're handling 135 with bands, you're right. That's, that's you, like you the limit? Throw, you can throw them at the mirror, man. 130, though, you can't do that. Yeah, well, well that, yeah. So the next thing we are doing is just a, a fly machine. This is like your favorite fly. You said, like one of your favorite machines? Arguably. Arguably one of your favorite? My political answer. Don't want to hurt any feelings, you know? <laughs> Oh shit! What are you doing? It just felt so good. I was just in the car. I just kept not going. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. <laughs>
it's like when I trained with Courtney, it's the number one thing I have to tell her. She's like warming up and she does like 25 reps. I'm like, what are you doing? You're warming up. She's like, but it's light. I'm like, it's yeah. not your work this day. That didn't hurt, it felt good though. That's a little too much. Dude, I almost want to leave, man. Definitely like I was going like this and I kind of internally rotate. Yeah. So you gotta do like that scoop. It goes better like that. Is that it? Okay, so we just wrapped up chest. We did a cable fly. Two top sets with the drop set. Uh, so everything today was pretty much working up to two top sets. And now we're moving on to some triceps and off the workout. So I don't know if you guys can hear us because the music is so damn loud at this gym, but we're pretty much doing one big drop set for the rope push down. And then is that it for triceps or are you doing yeah, no, behind the head? Behind the head okay. And then behind the neck press. Behind the neck press, over the head press. Over the head extension. I'm so tired from this workout, you guys can barely even speak. from like farther away to kind of close up and you just focus on literally just extending. That's wicked. This gym is so loud so if you guys can't hear me, I'm sorry. So we're gonna work out the two top sets, heavy here for the long head of the triceps, 10 to 12 reps. Okay, so I'm just gonna recap the workout just in case you guys didn't hear anything that we said because the music was super, super loud and all of a sudden it just turned off. So we started with the machine incline press, then we went to the incline dumbbell press, then we did a fly upstairs and then we finished off the cable fly and then we did a rope push down and then overhead dumbbell tricep extension. So everything that we did today, we worked up gradually to two top sets and in those top sets, you give it your absolute all. Like everything you got beyond failure. If you have a workout partner, use them, do force reps, do partials, do whatever you can and just really force that muscle to grow and you know, 
Training with this guy is next level. Like you train the hardest I've ever seen in my life. Really? Yeah. This is why you're the top of what you do. I guess so. You know, so it's you join for a leg day. You know, it's insp it's inspiring shit to train with you. So Appreciate it's always a pleasure. Thank it's always you, a pleasure. As well. Yeah. But yeah, that's a wrap on the workout. We're gonna go home and get some food together. Later. We're gonna go make some burgers. No better post-workout meal than some burgers in the dark. It's a little dark out here, I'm not gonna lie, so I hope I don't burn the shit out of these without noticing. But, they're not allowed to complain because I don't even get to eat them. So, Chris grilled the burgers, but he's not having any. What are you having? I can have a burger. You have a burger? But with rice, not with a white rice. bun or any condiment. So, it's strict meal plan now. Right? Yep. It, and it doesn't change at all throughout the prep, just like the amounts go down? Yeah. Protein stays the exact same, food meals stay the same, just like carbs and fats kind of reduce a little. It smells so good, I'm starving. So we are back at the hotel. So I requested a king bed, but unfortunately they gave us two queens. I'm sorry, Kofi. Uh, I was, you know what? I was really ready to be Little Spoon and uh, you ruined that for me. You took that away from me, Will. I apologize. Next time. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one.